Hi everyone, this is Athena from Courage Coaching. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. Please click on the subscribe button if you would like to get notifications for any new videos that I upload. Now in today's video I wanted to talk about complex post-traumatic stress disorder, otherwise known as CPTSD, and dissociation. Now what do we know about dissociation? What is it? Dissociation is a mental process where a person disconnects from their thoughts, feelings, memories, or sense of identity. It is basically a stress response that causes a broken mental and emotional link between things or experiences you would usually or normally um, associate with one another. It essentially means that you process life very differently in order to accommodate the upsetting way that you learned to see the world. In fact, it is very common for dissociation to create disturbances in one's awareness, personal identity, perception, and recall or memory. Now, what are five ways that the brain naturally protects us from long-term trauma? The first way it does this is by something known as depersonalization. And this is almost like an out of body experience. It basically means that we have a significant feeling of detachment from our own body. And some people even feel completely alienated from it, unable to recognize their own hands or face. The second type of dissociation is known as derealization and this feels like nothing seems real. So basically the world feels almost uh, dreamlike or fake and you feel like you are very unreal or the world seems really foggy or at distance. It might seem as though the things you witness are happening in a movie or somewhere far, far away. Now the third type of dissociation is known as dissociative amnesia. So unlike the type of amnesia you will most likely see in movies or television shows, dissociative amnesia is not a failure to recall uh, personal information or losing whole identities or relationships and it's also not routine forgetfulness. Dissociative amnesia is losing a disturbing event or painful blocks of time. So you might forget anything from key moments in your life to entire months or years. So if, for instance, you have suffered trauma in childhood, severe trauma, your mind will have found a way to block this out in order to protect you. And then these memories or events that happened that traumatized you may suddenly emerge years later. And this is very, very difficult for those who have experienced trauma because they will start getting what is known as flashbacks. Now, the fourth type of dissociation is known as identity confusion, where you just don't feel like yourself. If you have a feeling that you don't know who you are or what you like or what matters to you in the world, you may be experiencing what is known as dissociative identity confusion. In other words, what you know about yourself has now completely shifted. Typically, those who deal with identity confusion find that risky behavior can induce a sense of excitement. And some people that experience identity confusion may find that they start doing risky things, things that they haven't done before that are completely out of character. Now, the last type of dissociation is known as identity alteration, also known as a personality switch. And this means that you may sense that one part of yourself feels very, very different from the real you. You may, for instance, start talking with a different tone in your voice or your language style will change abruptly. The way you move your body or your facial muscles um, may seem really odd and unlike you. It may seem that there are many different personalities controlling the individual and they have almost taken charge. And this is known as identity alteration. It will be full-blown dissociative identity disorder where the individual has multiple alters 
multiple personalities of different parts of themselves that emerge. And this means that there are fragmented parts of the same individual. And these um, different alters are there to protect the individual from the trauma that they experience, because the trauma they experience was extremely severe. And this isn't something that a um, trauma survivor is necessarily aware of. It is sometimes something that needs to be addressed in therapy. Or somebody may tell them that this has happened or notice that it's one of their alters that is actually speaking right now. It is worth noting that um, complex PTSD dissociation uses um, things like minimization, denial and suppression to keep the trauma in check. Now what is a quick run through of the symptoms that somebody experiences when they have a dissociative disorder? It could look like feeling disconnected from yourself, having feelings of anxiety or depression, problems with handling intense emotions, sudden and unexpected shifts in mood, for example, feeling very sad for no reason, feeling as though the world is distorted or not real, which is what we said is called derealization, memory problems that aren't linked to physical disability, cognitive uh, problems such as finding it very hard to concentrate, significant memory lapses such as forgetting important information, feeling compelled to behave in a certain way that may feel out of character for you, identity confusion which again is one of the types of dissociation, uh, behaving in a way that a person would normally find offensive, and then there are three distinct uh, dissociative disorders. We have dissociative amnesia, which again I mentioned before. We have depersonalization or derealization disorder. And the more severe type, which is dissociative identity disorder. And this condition typically involves two or more uh, different personality states within the same person. And these personality states are known as alters. These states can influence the person's behavior, the way they talk, the tone of their voice, the way they act. They could be a different age. They could be a different nationality. Um, they could be angry. They could be sad. And these switches between alters happen when the person is under a lot of stress, most commonly. And a person who has dissociative identity disorder will almost always also have dissociative amnesia. So they wouldn't remember these changes or these switches between alters or personalities. So what is the cause of dissociative disorders? Well, this is usually childhood trauma, quite severe childhood trauma. And a lot of it involves very severe abuse um, that includes emotional abuse, um, control, sexual abuse, physical abuse, um, uh, sex trafficking, child sex trafficking or prostitution. It is very, very severe in most cases. So are you somebody who has experienced dissociation? I mean, maybe you've not had the more severe form. Maybe you just have um, a depersonalization or derealization, or maybe you notice that you have memory lapses or maybe you just dissociate for short periods of time, um, but you're able to generally lead a functioning life. So whatever your experience, feel free to get in touch. So yeah, that is the end of the video today. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. I hope you found it useful and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.